Hi everybody, it's Lynn. Um, today I'm going to make with you a, a necklace using the beads that we received in the July curated bead box. Uh, these shells <laughs> didn't have any drill holes in them, so we had to come up with something that we could do with them. So I took some large jump rings, they're like 10 millimeter jump rings, and just threaded it through the shell. And then I've attached a little bit of Rolo chain to it. And we're going to have this hanging off of our necklace. So we're using these beads, the pink and brown beads. And we're using some of the Jasper beads. I love these Jasper beads. Now out of my stat, and we're using some of the uh, shells that we got in the box as well. So all of the beads did come from the box. Now I've pulled some 60 seed beads from my stash and these are not a big name brand. Uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby. They had them on sale for $2.50 a tube. So I picked up a tube and they are 60s. I've also pulled a couple of bead cap ends, um, a toggle clasp, a couple of jump rings, couple of crimp beads and uh, wire guardians and crimpy covers um, all out of my stash. So that's what we pulled. So what I'm going to do is string this part of the necklace on and then then I'm going to string it to the length I want using the seed beads. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to watch me do all that and I'll be back when I get it strung and we'll finish the necklace and make a pair of matching earrings, okay? So I'll be back as soon as I get these put on our beading wire. Okay guys, I'm back with our necklace all strung. Um, I made one little change to what I had done before. I put a seed bead in between the jasper beads to make them stand out. And as you can see, these hang pretty nice. Um, I'm happy with it. <laughs> so I already went ahead and crimped this side. We'll crimp this side, put our clasp on, and then we'll move on to our earrings. So I'm putting on a crimp tube and then a wire guardian. Come up and over. We want to come back down through that crimp bead and a few beads if we can. Wherever our wire pops out, we'll just grab it. And there it is. And pull. Pull that on down. You have to work with it a little bit sometimes. Um, once you kind of close that wire guardian, that helps a little bit. Just close it down, but don't crush it. And then you can pull that on down and I think we're good there I'm just gonna crimp so I've got it in the bottom divot and I'm gonna squeeze turn it and squeeze I do my crimp beads really slowly y'all um, to, you know, make sure I'm not squeezing anything other than the crimp bead. Cut off our excess wire. And put our crimp cover on. The most challenging thing about doing the whole project can be getting the crimp cover on. But hey, there we go. Looks good, too. Okay. Now all we need to do is put our clasp on, and this will be complete. And like I said, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I think we're going to be happy with the earrings, too. And also, um, I made sure when I was putting those shells on, there's, I believe they'll all hang the same way. And that way you can wear it on either side, um, just depending on which side you'd like to show of the shells. Okay. 
One more jump ring and we'll be done. I ordered these um, toggle clasps from Beadbox Bargains a long time ago. All right, there's our necklace. And I, like I said, I'm very happy with it. Um, so there we go. All right, let's get to our earrings. And I'm using all the same beads. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting each of these beads on a head pin or an eye pin and then putting a piece of chain and then we're going to hang the shell off the bottom of the chain okay so that's how we're putting these together so we'll start out and let's see Okay, I'm going to take my round nose pliers, grab the bead at the top, and kink the wire over. I'm going to reposition my pliers to the corner, come up and over like that, turn pliers around, and then take that wire onto the back. And then I take another pair of pliers and wrap. Okay, and then cut off your excess wire. Make sure you tuck down anything that might scratch you. Okay. All right, take another head pin. Now, before I put the bead on this, I'm going to put the chain on it. So I'm going to open the the eye pin. I keep saying head pin. I mean eye pin, you guys. I'm going to put the chain on and close the eye pin back up. Just makes it a little easier to get it on there. Put our bead on. Take around those pliers. Grab the bead at the top. Kink your wire. Move to the corner and come up and over. Turn your pliers around and go around to the back. And take another pair of pliers and wrap. Okay. Again, we're going to cut our excess wire off. Tuck down anything that might be sharp. Okay. Now we're going to take our Jasper bead and open the bottom of this head pin. Do it very, very carefully. And place this bead directly below that bead and close up your eye pin. Okay. All right. Now we got to get our seashells done. So I'm taking my big jump ring, opening it pretty wide because you got to get through that shell. Take your shell and just come through it like that. And then take a piece of the wire or the take your earring and add your chain there. Close that. Okay, there's that one. So let's finish the other one. Opening my jump ring, taking my shell, coming up through the shell. Take my other beads and put it on there. Close. Okay. And 
taking my ear wires. Uh, these ear wires, I love this shape, y'all. These hang so balanced in your ear. Um, and I get these um, from, I got them from Fire Mountain Gems. Um, they do cost a little more, but for I just think they're way more comfortable. Okay, and I'm just going to hang the chain right onto my ear wire. And close it back up. Ooh, <laughs> I flipped that, y'all. These are very strong. They're stainless. Okay. Well, did I put these on back? Oh, look at that. <laughs> I put it on backwards. Ugh. I tell you what. Y'all, I'm not all here. No, this is right. This is what I wanted. I don't know how I did that other one. Anyway, y'all, crazy woman here. Can't get her act together. But you get the gist. Don't put yours together backwards. <laughs> Lord. This is what I meant for them to look like. So, we'll get there eventually. My goodness. I'm just ashamed of myself. That was pitiful. Okay. Well, I'll turn that other one around on my own, you guys. I appreciate you being here and watching. Take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.